We're at Green Bay Preble High School where tonight in a WIAA sectional semifinal game, we have the number one seed Sheboygan North Lady Raiders against the number two seed Kimberly Papermakers. Hello everybody, alongside the coach Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin. Chris, this actually would be the game of the year in Division One. yet we're seeing a set in a sectional semifinal pairing. Yeah, it is, it's kinda weird, Mike. And this is a game they probably talked about when the rankings first came out at the beginning of the year. Sheboygan North, Kimberly both ranked in the top five. Oh my gosh, we gotta play them in a sectional game and before even the sectional finals are state. But that's the way it turns out. And I always say, you gotta beat them all to get to state. So it doesn't matter when you beat them or where you beat them, you just gotta beat them. Now coming into tonight's game, I know you did research, so did I. I mean, they're almost mirror images of each other. North and Kimberly each give up about 29 points a game. They both score about 47 or 48 points a game. On the way up, we were talking, and uh, Chris thought, well, first team to 50 wins. And I said, well, maybe it's the first team to 40. Well, last year, what it was at 28 to 25, both teams like to play defense and things like that. It's going to be one of those games where, you know, which team can score. Yeah, I said the first team to 50, it's almost a slam dunk for who's going to win because basically neither team scores a lot of points which kind of magnifies at the game, I think, Marty, and we talked about this before, too. Every possession becomes much more crucial, and in a close, tight game like this, the fans are going to get more excited, the officiating is going to get more exciting, you know, and every possession is going to be just so magnified because you want to score on every opportunity you get. In a game like this, you like to have a player that you can go to, and uh, in Frankie words, Kimberly certainly has that player. She's averaging about 16-4 a game. She signed, uh, or she's being recruited to go to some Division I schools. And then uh, drops down Jenna Smarzinski, averages about 9-8. But uh, those are a couple of key players for the papermakers. Well, the Wirtz girl, obviously, I believe, is related to Laconia Wirtz, Lucky Wirtz, who's a great coach for so long. And I believe he moved up here. And that's, I believe, is a daughter of his. And just a junior, but an excellent player. I thought it was great training the other night for Sheboygan North having to play a really good girl in the conference who scores a lot, so they get prepared for that. I thought Sheboygan North did a good job of, you know, communicating to all the players where she is, and that's what you got to do with works tonight as well. Where is she on the floor? Keep an eye on her. Now, North has their bal has more balance in their scoring. Uh, use it all, and uh, um, Madison Wolf average about 11 points a game, and it drops off a bit there, but the other girls can score might create a few more problems for Kimberly in terms of who they can focus on. Well, I, I hope so, but one of, I have eight points. My sixth point is don't rely on the three-point shot necessarily. If it's not going, use your strength. You know, and the Wolf sisters and CJ Usadol are, are your post players, your strong inside players. Try to feed them the ball, and then they can maybe kick it out and hit some threes and things like that. But don't rely on the three. It seems like too many times this year when I watched the North girls, they, they had like 40% of their shots for threes. And we can't always do that. It's okay if you're making them, but if it's not going, let's not rely on that. Uh, one thing that we've seen over the course of the four or five games that we've covered the Lady Raiders, they're not a good free throw shooting team, and they're going to have to shoot better tonight. Yeah, they are, and everybody's got to step up. And obviously, that was a big criticism of everybody, even the girls themselves in the interviews kind of joked about it. We got to make our free throws. We get, they got a lot of opportunities the other day that are fouled. And that's what you want as a coach and as a team. You just got to make those free throws. I think one of the big things, my, my uh, third point was avoid early jitters. Making free throws is that. Whole teams are going to be nervous to start with. You know, they're just as nervous as we are. So avoid those early uh, jitters. Bang some, some buckets, make some free throws, and that'll help. All right, with that, we're going to step out. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the tip-off for tonight's game. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Nicole Malakowski, the U.S. Air Force Fighter Squadron Commander and the first woman pilot with the United States Air Force Aerial Demonstration Team. My fellow airmen and I know that each of us plays a huge part in our victories, whether in the air or on the ground. We couldn't accomplish our mission without using everyone's skills to reach our goals. Embracing our differences and working together is also what has made America strong. Thank you for your support, and remember, our strength lies in our diversity. This message brought to you by the United States Air Force. Okay, Josh, do your stuff. Okay, 
people, you know the drill. Can't do this only, guys. Sometimes you gotta live what you believe up in your arms. Cause that's where it's from. Generosity, pass it on. A little from up above, to me. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Take, take 10 seconds to imagine the face of your best friend, your coworker, your classmate, your hero, the face of a veteran, a senior on a fixed income. Now, I want you to imagine them without a home. More than two million people in America rely on public housing to provide a home for their families. And there are at least a half a million waiting for a safe place to live. I'm Jewel, and I'd like you to join me and rethink how public housing is supporting your community. The environment is my passion. Every day, I live for the outdoors and all of its challenges. That's why I enlisted in the Coast Guard. Now, I serve to protect the environment and defend my country. It's like I was born for this. Were you born ready for a greater challenge? Find out at GoCoastGuard.com.
officials tonight are Rick Van Dries, James Brockman, and Rod Fields. Well, they've been waiting uh, since November for this. Gentlemen, standing there in the black is uh, the head coach for the papermakers, Troy Cullen. There you see Eric Spielman. They'll be the best two teams in the state of Wisconsin, and we get to show it and share it with you. North controls the tap. Use it all, brings it up. Looks like Kimberly's in a zone, huh, Chris? Nope, man to man. And they're going to be aggressive and up the line, and it's tournament play, so a lot more stuff's going to be allowed to take place. I hope they got their line straight. Turnover by North. I thought the ball was tipped. It was tipped. Not a question of whether it was or not. I guess it was when she uh, got possession. North in the zone. Number three. That's works. That's what we got to watch. There she is. Shot is no good. Rebound goes to uh, Gussie. And picking up high is Hedo on Usadol. Number four, handle pressure, break press. Wolf gets free underneath. Nice pass from McKenzie, and Madison Wolf scores for North. And there it was, handling the pressure with a nice entry pass. Works backs it out. And as we've seen in the past, North not afraid to extend pressure on that uh, zone. No, they're real quick, Marty. Tall, lanky, and quick. Know where number three is. Almost tipped away. And Mackenzie Wolf right there to prevent any drive penetration by Heddle. Head Head Gonna have to get out on the shooters. Gussie with a rebound. Use it all. Unfortunate tripped over the leg of Heddle and she goes in for an easy two. Another turnover by the Raiders. Gotta handle the pressure, Marty. They get a foul on uh, Madison McKenzie. Will pardon me. That early turnover by CJ Usedal. Got it. We got to do a better job of that. Already, we're seeing in the first two minutes. Way to come at the shooter. Oh no. That's two fouls on Madison. You got to give me a break. She was set. Number two point for me was stay out of foul trouble, and already we're in trouble. Well, one thing we didn't mention was uh, Jalen Walter is not going to play tonight. Yeah. She's the sixth person on. Uh, yeah, she's at home with the flu, Marty. Good point. Wirtz on a three pointer is no good. Paper makers keep it. Got to remember, long rebounds on those three-point shots. Wirtz backing it out, looking, gets it into Hedo at the free throw line, and she kicks it out. And Wolf backs off on the drive and lets her go in for two. Point four, break the press. Handle pressure. Good job there by North of breaking the press. It's tournament time. There's going to be a lot more reaching and stuff allowed, a lot more physical play. You have to adjust. Wirtz guarding, uh, Wirtz guarding Gentine, and the ball gets tipped out of bounds. Coming in for the paper makers is Sarah Rose now. They talked about it. It's the height of North versus the quickness and speed of Kimberly. So far, Kimberly's got the advantage. Four to two, there's uh, five minutes left in the first quarter. We knew it'd be a low scoring game and it's been that so far. Can't give up your dribble way out there. Gentine trying to push ball inside, but uh, gets stopped. Dump pass into Madison Wolf, but she can't get it. Mackenzie Wolf for two. You might have to do that, Marty. Looks like they're fronting post, so you're gonna have to pin. 
and get those uh, lob passes to work. Ball inside, taken away by North. Good job of looking up. It's the second time they've missed the lines here. These are well, the officials. They got to get it figured out. It's a green line. I know you, it's hard to tell it. Uh, then don't host the sectional if you can't get lines and know what, what it figured out. It makes it difficult for the officials. A lot of pressure by the paper makers. They get it inside to Wolf. He tries to get it out, but the ball is, she's fouled. Thought her were gonna get a kick. Ball goes on Marzinski. He's the second leading score for them. Kenzie Wolf threw it away. Wirtz has it. Taking it hard to the basket and can't get it in. Good defense played by Mackenzie Wolf. Use it all being pressured. Mackenzie gets it into her sister Madison, who spins to the basket, shoots, and is fouled. Be interested to see which one this is on. It's both leading scores there. Second foul on her. Well, we talked about free throws being important. Here we go, Chris. All tied up, four to four, with uh, 3.46 left in the first quarter. Oh, for two trip by the Raiders. Kimberly uh, pretty content to pass it around the outside. They've uh, gotten it to the free throw line a few times. Oh, good move, but the shot was missed by Smarzinski. This one, two of eight for Kimberly so far. North has five. Wolf scores and she's fouled. Took it hard to the basket. A very unusual shot, but she got it in. Well, it's kind of hard to shoot when you got your arm being grabbed, Marty. But that's a good attack plan. Get it inside if you can. Biggest lead by the Raiders, seven to four. Macy Conter coming in for uh, Mackenzie Wolf. Wirtz gives it up to a Smarzinski who gets uh, Kimberly into their offense. Wirtz, shot is off, no good. Another three point attempt, not good by the paper makers. Yeah, they're all of three, Marty. Shot from the corner is good and a foul. Smarzinski makes a three. Just like that, they tie it up and a chance to take the lead back. Long rebound again, Marty. Well, not just that, but when they get into their offense, they, uh, they do a good job with the skip passes. There's not a lot of air time. Nope. Free throw is no good. At and intercepted, not a good pass there. Six turnover, Marty. Six turnovers in six minutes. We're all tied at seven. Good recovery that time Wirtz by... Is wide open over here. I like that. That's my old offense. Screen and a basket by Smarzinski is good again. That's a great idea, you run at screens against the zone like you back pin them there. That's how I used to run my zone offense. Very well coached there by Kimberly. 
Gentine with a rainbow, couldn't get it in. Gussie rebound, up no good. Gentine got hacked, no call. Kimberly comes away with it. Eric Spielman talking to the official on the sideline here. Wow, 7-4 lead just got evaporated, Marty. Three-point attempt is around and out by Rose now. They're forcing use it all to give the ball up, Chris. Wolf able to control an iffy pass. As she's trying to get it, she's getting knocked out of there by Hedo. Wolf with a line drive shot, got it in Mackenzie Wolf. 10 to 9, papermakers. Skip pass over here to Smarzinski, and now they're back into uh, working the outside. Works looks a little tired, Marty, out here. Well, she's been working hard. Yep. The one I thought would be a little more tired is uh, Hedo, number 22, chasing uh, use it all all around. Keep an eye on this girl right here, Smarzinski. She's uh, nailed a couple of threes. Sixteen seconds left in the quarter. North down, ten to nine. Skip pass, Wirtz driving the lane, couldn't get the shot to go. North comes away with it. Use it all's got time. Gets it over to Gentine, and that shot's going to be no good. And we're at the end of one quarter of play. Kimberly ten, North nine. We have a job to do out here today. To be a winning team, you have to work like a winning team. My team depends on me. And my team is 50,000 strong. Looks like a lot of work's going into this. This is what it feels like to be part of a team. A winning team. The action team. A winning action team. Action team. Get in on the action at actionteam.org. Are you in? Pretty easy keeping track of the score, Chris. Steph Hedo has uh, the first four points for the papermakers, and then Jenna Smarzinski had two threes, had six, that's their 10. For North, Madison Wolf has five, and, and uh, McKenzie has four. And that's been the scoring here in the first quarter, 10 to nine, 10 to nine, Kimberly. You like the way they run their offense at those papermakers. Well, I love that. I, I love backpinning on a zone. What you do is you backpin the back of their players, and then you skip it over the top, and by the time they, they catch it, you know, you got a wide-open shot. Or what I used to do is then roll my guys to the basket, so when they came out, you can then they have a little bounce pass and dump it in. That was sweet. And uh, got them three points. Use it all, Gussie, Gentine, and the two Wolf girls starting lineup on the floor for North. Inner. Got to call that on the paper maker, and that's going to be on number 22, Smarzins. No, Steph Heddle. That was just the first turnover of the game for Kimberly, and that was a bad pass, but uh, the key of the game so far is the six turnovers for Sheboygan North. Rose now commits the foul, number 12, not number 22. I knew you'd get that fixed. Gussie almost lost it. She doesn't want the ball. Wolf girl had her sister open, but had it taken away. Kimberly on the break. Good defense by Mackenzie Wolf. McMurrow has it on top, gets it into Hedo. And she gets called for a travel. It's going to be hard for uh, the paper makers to get anything uh, directly underneath the basket simply because of the height of North. Good job of breaking the press there. Now Gussie has to handle it against pressure. And committing the foul was uh, Steph Heddle. 
But you notice where Mackenzie Wolf has to catch the ball, not by the top of the key, not by the free throw line, but way out here extended, which means Kimberly's doing their job by pressuring the guards. They're forcing forwards to come out and uh, handle pressure. You're right. Makes it much dip more difficult to uh, run the offense. And we said it's going to be Kimberly's quickness against North's height. Use it all, gathers herself, puts it off the glass and in. North on top now, 11 to 10. North extending the pressure on the zone. And good move by Use it all to uh, step out low. She spotted uh, Wirtz. Wasn't going to let her. Not in my house. McMurrow uh, did not make a smart play there trying to uh, get it in underneath. This could be over and back. She didn't have all established over. That is why. Could have almost got uh, Gentine for a foul. She can't handle the pressure, Marty. Nope. And uh, that Wirtz girl is a strong girl, too. Yep. How you handle pressure. Travel coming in for uh, the Raiders is uh, Maddie Opie. Gentine yeah. comes out. Use it all's a uh, little bit winded too, Chris. Yep. So we're at Mackenzie uh, and Madison too. We're at Green Bay Preble High School and uh, the place is packed. And not a good pass. I mean, that was not even close. Wirtz trying to get the steal, couldn't. And now the papermakers are going to try to work the perimeter, see if they can get a three-point shooter open. Trying to screen for Wirtz over here. Good job there by Opie's got to be Opie. careful about not getting too deep. Remember where the focus is, number three, number three, number Chevalier three. Chevalier coming up to the free throw line, didn't get it. Ball is tipped by North, no over and back. Marzinski has it on top. Got to keep an eye on her. Use it all. Tipped it away. CJ needs a break. Smarzinski with a jumper in the lane. Nice shooter's roll. She got it in. She's three of five. She hit her last three. She has eight points now. Use it all, just taking the ball and dribbling it up. Good move by her, and then she had the ball tipped away. Goes off of Kimberly. Smarzinski didn't think so. Be nice to see one of the North girls flashing to the high post, meeting up at about the midcourt, making herself available, because they're always dribbling up the court instead of passing it up. Use that height to your advantage. Well, Use trying to tired. get set in the offense. It's been hard to get it down into the attack zone. Well, Kimberly is awesome on defense. They are so quick. You mentioned in the opening, Marty, each team just gives up 28 points a game. Gussie got a nice pass on the inside and scored. North back on top. It's 12 to 11, uh, pardon me, 13 to 11. McMurrow has it on the wing. Wirtz trying to get inside. She did, but can't hit the shot. She's 0 of 6, Marty. Madison Wolf does a good job of breaking the press. Get it inside, but no, it's tipped away. Good hustle by uh, Hedo to tip it away from uh, I like that McKenzie approach much Wolf. better, though, passing it up instead of dribbling it. Good timeout for, for North. Their girls need a break, too. Okay, full timeout for North. 4.03 left in the first half. Raiders on top, 13 to 12. Kimberly. You always made sure I brushed my teeth. You told me that smart was cool. You always told me to dream big. To all of those parents who took the time to make raising their children their most important job, we'd like to say thank you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thanks, Mom and Dad. Back at North High, that was a Kimberly timeout. Thanks for the update, Chris. Uh, talk a little bit about the press breaker for North. I know, you know, talking on the fly, and uh, just explain what you mean. 
Well, I just would rather have some one of the two girls kind of be out on a on a side lines and then flash to the midcourt to make yourself available. If you're just standing there, the girl for Kimberly is just standing there too. If you flash to the to the middle of the floor, you never want to be in the corners or the sides. Make yourselves available. And I'd rather pass it up against dribble because you know these officials aren't going to call all the picks and you know pokey little fouls anymore. You got to be strong with the ball. Use your height. Use your height and throw it above them and catch it up high. Big bucket here if you can get up by three. Yeah, good double team by Kimberly to prevent uh, Usadol from getting it down underneath. She was guarded by a much smaller player. That's another good thing that Opie did. If you can drive penetrate on this team, Break them down and drive, penetrate, because they're way out on you. There's a nice pass. Good pass to Madison Wolf. She scores. Nice pass from McKenzie again. I like that dump down there. That was a very good offensive series for North. Good to, to time out that some of the girls could rest a little bit, get some water. That was a great offensive series. It was 10-9 at the quarter mark. Your 40 pace was right on. Yeah. To see what happens. No nope. passes out of bounds. Hedo trying to get it to uh, Chevalier, but uh, had to throw it too high and it went off her hands. Fourth turnover for Kimberly in the quarter after they have an zero. You know, Chris, uh, one thing one. that we haven't talked about, you know, we've talked about kids being tired, but uh, that's going to be a little too deep right at. Right at Eric Wiesman running that floor camera. Way to hang in there, Eric. Richard Bartson up on top. Kerry Kautzer, our director. Uh, Chris Wright doing the uh, color. And I'm Mike Martin doing the play-by-play. -play. We got the A team tonight. Yeah, and I like I like oh, to. I wanted to bring something up that I think is really important. Kimberly has been doing a lot of substituting. North has not, and that could pay dividends for the papermakers later on. You know, Coach Spielman did not appreciate that pass. I thought that was a good pass. One, number one, it can, get him, yeah. if it uh. works, that might stretch them back a little bit. You know, we used to run that at North, too. Sometimes you didn't mind that long pass because you're forcing the team to back up. If that would have worked, you would have got an easy basket. I know it was a turnover, but that it's too bad it didn't work because it may have stretched the press out a little bit. Murrow gets it over to Wirtz. So far in the ball game, uh, Wirtz has not scored. There's a screen, double screen. Get a whistle, I think we're gonna get North. They run, OP, uh, commits a foul. You watch how they run that double back screen there, back pin them. They got it there for Wirtz again. Here they're trying to they're trying to back screen. Trying to get Gussie. the Rosenau open. Yep. See how number 10 goes yeah. backwards and tries a pinner there? I hear you. I know what you mean. It's just sometimes our fans may not know. Three-point attempt from right at the top. And kissing it off the glass with Sarah Rosenau. Third three for them. We're all tied at 15. Gentine gets it, a, and then they're going to call her on the sideline. Another turnover by the Raiders. 11. Lindsey Gussie back in for North. But you notice Rosenau there with two hands on the hips. But that's neither did the ref notice. I didn't notice it, neither did the ref. And they not or they're not going to call that. You know, that's... Uh, bringing back sad memories when we were at uh, the sectional game. Now, I don't know if it was sectional, but North played, and they just let the pure manhandle last Raiders. Last year, we last were up year. there when our sound went off. Last yeah. year in the regional finals or whatever. Yeah, they Edo just had it on in the smashed our post. kids. Yeah, well, let's smash them back. <laughs> McMurrow wanted to shoot, but then gave it up to uh, Wirtz. We're all tied up. 140 left in the first half. We have trouble getting to 40, Chris. <laughs> it's 15 all right now. Gentine, Hedo gets around her. 
Bad pass, she got away with it. Oh, good job by Use It All. Took it right away, but they're calling a jump ball. That was a good call, Chris. Yep. North has the possession. That's the most important part. That's right. That's a good one right there. Now come back and set up your offense. Come back and get the ball. Who's your guards? Good dump it, dump it, dump it, dump Gussie it. Inside. No way. Oh, man. How can you call that? She's moving. Chris, don't shake your head. Wasn't us. <laughs> well, I, I'm just saying, don't shake your head. In our opinion, Rick, hey, Kerry, can you uh, replay that uh, last uh, charging call? I'd like to take a look at that. Not that the official is going to change his mind, but. Good decision here to get Conter into the game. We got a minute and three seconds left. We're all tied at 15. It was a great pass, and it certainly looked like the defender was moving her feet as uh, Wolf tripped over her. There certainly wasn't anything intentional about it in terms of uh, hurting that, uh, that Kimberly player. And that's uh, Jenna Smarzinski who is stepping off the floor, Chris. That's a big loss for Kimberly. Hopefully she'll be, she'll be okay. She'll be back. North looking for a big stop. One minute and three seconds left. We're tied at 15. Neither team is uh, in the bonus. They're both sitting at five fouls. Wirtz uh, looks like she carries the ball once in a while on that spin move. There's probably not going to call something like that. They do get it to the high post, which they've done pretty well, Chris, but... Uh, for the Raiders, it's been fortunate they haven't gotten much with that high post pass. Obviously, Kimberly trying to run it down. Yeah, 30 seconds left. It looks like they'll probably play for one now. Rose now had it, gives it up to Heddle. Neither team in the bonus, Marty. Which leads me to think that you can go for it. You know, you can try to poke one away. 10 seconds. A uh, good play by Wirt. She got it over to Chevalier for an easy two. And we're at halftime. Kimberly on top, 17 to 15. This message is brought to you by the U.S. Air Force. Your time is going to come. Time is gonna come. It's up to you to reach out to be that friend who comes along. Your day is gonna come. When you make a friend, you make a difference. Your day is gonna come. Friendship, pass it on. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Hi everyone, I'm Emily. I'm super excited to introduce my dad because he's my hero. When I was little, he was doing this really important work, driving ambulances in Iraq. Now he's home and he's still a hero because he tells the ambulances where to go when there's an emergency. I'm so proud of him. He's awesome. He's my dad. If a service-connected disability hinders your civilian career, Volk Rehab offers a variety of services to help prepare you for your next mission.
best compliment I ever get is when someone says to me, you had breast cancer? They look at your chest, did you have operations? I said, yeah, I fell out of mastectomy and reconstruction. That's the best compliment. Women who are told about their breast reconstruction options report feeling in control and experiencing a higher quality of life after cancer. Before you undergo surgery for breast cancer, get the facts. Make sure you know your breast reconstruction options. For more information, visit BroadAyUSA.org. Want to help? Make it easy on everyone. Send cash, the most effective form of disaster relief. CIDI.org. Back at Preble High School where we're getting ready to start second half action. Uh, Eric Wiesman was busy in the truck putting the scoring down for the first half. Chris, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you saw in that first half? Unbelievable, strange. What if you said you were shooting 70% from the floor, you shot 1,000% in the quarter, and you're trailing. The problem was North only had three shot attempts, 10 in the whole half. And uh, that's why they're trailing. A seven for 17 shooting for Kimberly. North has uh, no three-point baskets. They're uh, 0 for 3, 1 for 3 from the free throw line. Uh, Kimberly 0 for 1, but they did make uh, three threes. Uh, I thought the plus side, you mentioned North having 13 turnovers and to be only two down against uh, one of the top teams in the state, I think uh, that's a plus. Yeah, and they scored late too, otherwise it would have been even at the half. You know, right now, you know, a four point, no one's been bigger than a three point lead, so a four point lead is like 10. We said it's gonna be this way, uh, drawn out. How you handle pressure, and you know, like I said, I like North when they dump it in over the top because there's so much pressure on the, the entry passes, you gotta go over the top. Let's see if the Wolf Girls take care of business here in the second half. Nobody in any serious foul trouble. Smarzinski and Hedo have two each for uh, Kimberly. And for North, uh, Madison Wolf has uh, two. Frankie Wirtz, 06. Number three, leading score for Kimberly. Good hands by the Raiders. Wirtz got away with a little shuffle of the feet, but no call. Shot attempt is in. That one by uh, McMurrow. It's a 4-3 for Kimberly, Marty. Good job, right there, oh, a little higher. Yep, didn't quite get it over the defense. Another turnover by the Raiders. Kimberly up five, their largest lead. Basket to end the half and a quick basket here to start the quarter and that's a five point lead which is Rosenau has big. it at the free throw line, kicks it over to Wirtz. Good defense by Gussie. Good decision there on that pass. Rosenau, good decision. Marzinski Wirtz. to Wirtz, her shot is no good. She had a good look though, Marty. Give it to her. Gussie gets it inside to Madison Wolf, her shot off the glass is no good. And then uh, Mackenzie Wolf with a foul over the back. That'll be her second. Slow start for the Raiders here in the uh, second half. They're going to have to uh, have a good defensive possession here. In the head, who kicks it out. McMurrow trying to get the baseline, does, but then kicks it back out to Wirtz, who drives around Wolf and scores. First points by Wirtz. Comes with 6-11 left in the uh, third quarter. 
Coach Spielman thought about a timeout. Decide not to. Good defense by Hedo to get out on uh, use it all, prevent her from taking a shot. Three of the last four trips for Kimberly were baskets, including the end of the second quarter. Mackenzie Wolf kicks it out to Gentine. This is only the second three attempt by North. Gussie with good hustle got the ball back. Gentine looked like she wanted to shoot it, but didn't load it up. Good pass inside to Wolf. Her shot off the glass is no good. A lot of body on her. Yeah. You know, I understand up on top, but boy, when it gets physical down there, and then we're going to call that one. Well, that was an easy call. She came down right on the arm of uh, Jenna Smarzinski. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Madison's a little shaken up here. That's an early third for uh, Madison. Madison Wolf. Okay, North calling a full timeout with the score 23 to 15 with 5.17 left in the third quarter. We'll be right back. The facts. Women who are told about their breast reconstruction options report feeling in control and experiencing a higher quality of life after cancer. I know because I am one of them. I know because I am one of them. I know because I am one of them. Before you undergo surgery for breast cancer, get the facts. Make sure you know your breast reconstruction options. For more information, visit BroadAyUSA.org. Back at uh, Preble High School, there you can see the stands are packed in uh, Preble's Fieldhouse. It's uh, a very electric crowd, and uh, I just jotted down in the margin of my sheet, Chris. This is a key point in the game right now. Yep, a couple free throws now for Kimberly, and... You know, they're going to just slam on you on defense, make it more difficult for you. I think, North, you got to stick with the plan. Keep trying to dump it inside and work your way back in there. Kimberly on top, 22-15. to A couple of free throws here could bump it up to uh, 24. I think we might have gone to the break with the wrong score up uh, on our scoreboard. They've got it right here in the field house. Seven minute mark of quarter number two is 15 to 15. And now at the 517. This is only going to be free throw attempt number two and three for Kimberly in the ball game. They missed their only attempt back in the first quarter. <coughs> Marzinski makes that one for her ninth point, going for number 10. She leads all scorers. Couldn't get that one to go, and a lot of contact. Gussie with a good job of gathering it back in, and North keeps the possession. And we're going to get a foul underneath. That's going to go on uh, Steph Heddle, and that's going to be her third. Keep banging it in there, Marty. Got to keep banging it in there. You got to stay close, Marty, because Kimberly takes care of the ball so well, you're going to work well, your tail off to catch up. And North sits in a zone all the time. Yep. You know, all of a sudden they're going to have to draw out of that. Point number eight, what happens if you're behind on defense? Big time behind. Good point, Marty. Good inside feed to use it all. She kisses it off the glass for two. Good pass again by Mackenzie Wolf. A lot of game left, Marty. It's not like it's the fourth quarter. 23 to 17. Uh-oh. Three-point attempt is that off. No good. good. Ooh, that looked good, Marty. Works a little deep. She's had a tough shooting night tonight. Yep, one of nine. Good inside feed. Another foul on the paper makers. I believe uh, Rose now is going to get that. That'll be her second. Swing. 
Madison Wolf being bumped out by Jenna Smarzinski. Yeah, I like Madison to reverse and pin her. That's perfect, Madison. Eat her up. They're going to get a foul on Kimberly. It's either going to be on uh, Rose now or Smarzinski. It's going to be on Rose now. We'd rather have it on Smarzinski. But uh, we need some free throw makes. That's in. Good call on the run, Marty. Big point of the game. I jotted it down. It was uh, 22 to 15. They were shooting two free throws, and it was a key point. North needed to score some points, and now they have. They've scored four straight. Look at this, a little pressure. Wow. Timeout by Kimberly. 30-second timeout, so we'll uh, keep it here. Chris, I know Kimberly hasn't really press press like you might think, you know, like a 1-2-2 two, two or, you know, whatever. But I always think it's hard to press a team that does pressing. Well, I think what happened there was CJ Usadol just kind of came up to fool them, and I think Kimberly was shocked. You know, they had all of a sudden, oh, my God. So you don't God. think it was, like, off a of make no, or pressing No, I think that time. was just CJ doing something different, and, you know, they would have got that inbounds there, but just a different look. Just CJ probably did that on her own. That wasn't a planned press, and... You know. In other words, Eric's not that smart. Well, Eric's a smart guy. <laughs> I'm just saying. Eric CJ was did that uh, on coach of the year in the Fox <laughs> River Classic Conference. Congratulations to him. His team won the league, 18 and 0. Congratulations to them. So it's been a fine year for the Lady Raiders. Now the defense drops back for North. I like the idea by Kimberly too, not have uh, Wirtz handle the ball all the time. I think it was John Schumann told me one time, he said, what you want to do is not have your top scorer handling the ball. You want him to catch it to shoot. Plus they exert so much energy. Yeah, exactly. Unless you're Pete Maravich. <laughs> he could shoot. That pass goes uh, out of bounds. North is going to have it, I believe. We didn't see any official signal. Oh no, threw it away. North is really having trouble. Use it all, should be able to take her one on one. Good job there, Mackenzie, yeah. <laughs> being calm. She was calm there, that's what I liked about it. Hit one. Out to Gussie, three Hit attempt, one. put uh. goal. Mackenzie Wolf with the rebound and puts it up and in. Big baskets, big baskets, Marty. 23 to 21, North down two. Gonna have to get a hand up on defense. The hands are down right now when they come at the shooter. Look at use it all. Under three minutes left in the third quarter. Marty, you win the prize. First team to 40. <laughs> yeah, I don't think either team will get there. Wirtz what? trying to probe but can't get loose there. What a great defensive game. Two good coaches sticking with their plans, coaching their girls to what to their abilities. Rose now has it on top being guarded by Usadol. Look at the patience Kimberly shows. McMurrow from the same spot she hit one before, doesn't go in. Gussie with the rebound. She took it away from Hedo. That's her 10th, Marty. Ten rebounds for Gussie. Use it all, has it on top. Picks a screen from uh, Mackenzie Wolf. Is open for a second. In oh, and out. Bummers. Three ball was halfway down, popped out. Words wow. on the push, but now uh, the papermakers pull it back out. The Sheboygan North fans would have gone crazy if that would have gone in. That was right there. How did that not go in? Got to call that. Yep, now use it all picks up the foul. For CJ, that's going to be her first. And the North uh, third team foul. Boy, oh boy, how didn't the basket want that one? Yeah, really. 
McMurrow has it. Shot by Wirtz is no good. She gets the rebound, can't get it in. And then the battle on the floor. Papermakers keep it. Rainbow three is no good. Mackenzie Wolf has it. Use it all. Eyeing the floor. Finds Gussie down. Deep gets it into Madison. Get in oh. there. And good. And we're going to shoot a free throw going for the three-point play. Great offense by North. Exactly. Saw the wide open shot there. You can't ask for anything more. I don't know what Kimberly's asking for. There was no That's way. The fourth foul on Sarah Rose now. We're all tied at 23. Still in your thunder, Marty, but an 8 0 run. That same official that talked to Jeff Wigdahl about uh, showing some disgust over a call talks to uh, one of the papermaker players, keeping them in line. Three-point play is complete. North now on top, 24-23. And it's been a while, 115 left in the quarter since uh, Kimberly has scored. Wow, 517 mark, Marty. 517 mark. They Works. hit that free throw. Chevalier had it. Oh, and A lot of bumping and banging. No call on Hedo. Opie could have had one called on her, but the, the referees pulled back. I like the pep in the step of North, too, with the lead now. It's a new energized group. 50 seconds left. In the third. Wirtz drains it. Cold-blooded three by Frankie. And we get a timeout. I believe that's called by Kimberly, Chris. No. Was by North. Yep. Okay, Kimberly on top, 26-24 on the three-point basket by uh, Frankie Wirtz. It's uh, been quite a battle here. North had an 8-0 run before that three-point basket by Wirtz. You know, and she didn't even get a good look there, Marty. <laughs> but I guess she was due. She had uh, several tonight that... Uh, Looked like they were going in and didn't, so I think you're right there. She was due. Summer Zako wanted to come in, but she was Can't. late getting yep. to the table. Good they're going to hold the her official. out. They set up a play here. Gussie was wide open underneath, but they didn't see her. Use it all. Dump it down, dump it down. Opie shoots the three. Not a good choice there. And Madison Wolf was on the line when she tipped it back in. Not a good look. I mean, I don't as mind the shot. As soon as she shot. caught it, you could see she wanted to shoot it. She was not set, wasn't square, and forced that shot. Now, instead of having one, Shot left to give Kimberly the extra shot. Yeah, Not what you wanted. Good point. Pull that ball for the last shot. Smarzinski pushing it up, kicks it out to McMurrow, but she does not take the shot. Where's three? And Opie picks up the foul. For Maddie, that's her second. Get one of the Wolf girls out. No. no. Emma Gentine back in. Nine point four seconds left in the third. Kimberly up by two. Smarzinski going hard to the basket, passes it over to a teammate McMurrow, and she knocks in a two. And we're at the end of three quarters of play. Kimberly up twenty-eight to twenty-four. I tell people I have three kids, one of them's adopted, I just don't know which one. I can't imagine having to be in a birth mother's position to make that choice. You know, I was kind of just asking her, you know, what is your motivation, why are you doing this? And she looked at me and she said, because you can give my son a life that, that I could not. We always tell her, thank you, he is such a blessing to us. Every day is just a ray of sunshine from him, so. We're Chanda and Brian. 
and we chose adoption. The National Parkinson Foundation invites you to moving day. Moving day! Are you ready to move? Walk, cheer, yay! Dance, stretch, <laughs> laugh, and shout. Whatever it takes to beat Parkinson's. Let's defeat Parkinson's. Remember, people who move change the world. It's a new day for Parkinson's. Make your move today. Back at uh, Preble High School, there you see your uh, two announcers. Chris over here. That shot being given to you by uh, Eric Wiesman. That one by Richard Bartson. And flipping the switch in the truck is Kerry Kautzer. We're enjoying uh, giving you this broadcast. Hope you're enjoying it. Been a great ball game by two of the top ranked teams in the state. It's been everything we thought it would be. And uh, that was an easy call. CJ lost her balance. Uh, the turnovers have slowed down here in the second half for North, right, Chris? Definitely have, Marty. That's just number three. Trouble is, it's 16 in the game. Wirtz looking to get the ball underneath. Now she slips down to the baseline. Smarzinski has it on top, gets it over to Chevalier. I got Kimberly 50%, 5 of 10 from three, Marty. Five threes they've made. That's a lot. Wirtz has it on top. They're uh, setting up the offense again. Keep working, move. Keep working. Forcing a long possession. Down to seven minutes left in the game. Papermakers have a four-point lead. Each team sitting with four team fouls and with three timeouts remaining. Wirtz shot rolls off, but getting the rebound is Heddo. She kicks it out to Chevalier with a three attempt. And it goes in. Ay, ay, ay. That one rolls in, but the uh, one by uh, Gussie before or whatever it rolled out. Good Down plan. seven. The missed shot is put back by Matt is Mackenzie Wolf. Boy, North needed that, Chris. They're down five. Six minutes left in the game. Chevalier takes two shots the whole game so far, and one of them she drains a three. Yep. Sort of. Sort of drained it. How long can North stay in the zone, Chris, if they're going to run a, you know, a minute, 30 seconds off the clock each possession? Oh, easy call. Funny thing. Okay. Heddo picks up her fourth. Be interesting if one of those or two of those girls for Kimberly foul out, because then you're going to have bench players in later that might have to make free throws. Because it's going to come down to free throw shooting. Wirtz putting a lot of pressure on Gussie. Oh, pinner. You got a pinner. And now Wirtz picks up a foul. That'll be only her first, Chris. I thought she's played solid defense, too. Oh, yeah. She's a player. She's one of the best in the state. And uh, that's six fouls now on uh, the papermakers. Good no call. Looked like uh, use it all might have been over and back. Madison. Uh, Wolves playing uh, catch inside. You got Marzinski playing great post defense. With four fouls, right? She's uh, no. She's got two. Okay, sorry. Rose now. Nice hands. Ball kicked around, and uh, Kimberly gets it back. Good double team defense. McMurrow gets it into Chevalier, who dumps it down into uh, Heddo, who puts it in. Kimberly up seven. Nice. 
Madison Wolf takes it hard to the basket and scores. And we get a timeout. Third timeout for North. Very exciting game, Chris. Say the very least. Kimberly has been able to uh, get some baskets underneath the basket. Not many, but uh, enough to be dangerous. Well, they've got six threes, Marty. That's just... That creates some of those openings, right? Yeah, it's, well, six, six for 11 from three. Who would have ever thought they'd hit 50% from out there? It's crazy. Thirty-three to twenty-eight. Kimberly on top. There's four twenty-five left in the ball game. It's been a back and forth affair. Kimberly was able to open up a bit of a lead in the early third quarter. North came back and grabbed the lead, and since then, Kimberly has uh, been pretty solid. And now they have the uh, five-point lead. Yeah, ten to four run. They get it inside to Rosenau, who kicks it back out. Rosenau sitting with four fouls. Looked like an unfortunate uh, incident with uh, Wirtz. He tripped and uh, driving to the basket. Just one of those things. Different look on the press breaker, Marty. Yeah, I see that. All five girls for North are down here. Madison Wolf is going to bring it up. Does a good job. Gentine has it on the wing. Gets it over to Gussie. They are all over the Wolves. They're crashing. Someone's got to make a three. Use it all for two. We'll take two. One possession game again. 3.30 left. 33 to 30. Chevalier has it at the high post, I mean double teamed. And we get a timeout by Kimberly. They're only gonna have one left, Chris, after this timeout. Nope, they got two, I got. I think I got two, I got three and three, Marty. Yeah, okay, you got it. I was looking at the wrong side of the scoreboard. I'll tell you, every possession we set it in the old. What a day, we need to get outside. But honey, I think there's a game on somewhere. Well, I know another game we can play. Uh, well, golf? You and me? I'm ready to learn, and I found a great deal on lessons. Okay, game on. I think I can take it. Now you can learn to play golf, starting with one great deal. Five lessons from a PGA or LPGA instructor, starting at only $99. Get the details at GetGolfReady.com. Get ready to play. We said it in the opening, Marty. Every possession, every play is going to be huge. You can just see there's not a lot of shot attempts, not a lot of possessions. Just increases it, you know, by so much. It's just unbelievable. Just kind of like we thought, and that's exactly how it's playing out. Madison Wolf leads all scorers with 14 points. Leading scorer for Kimberly is uh, Jenna Smarzinski. She has nine. It's been a very tight ball game all the way through. Yeah. I would like it to be a one-point game here. Then anything can happen. I don't like it at three. Get it! Ball is tipped. Good play. North has it. What a play. A three ties it. North is in bonus. Emma Gentine looking inside. Nothing there. Passes it back out to uh, use it all. North 0 of 5 from three today. Patience, patience, patience. Take care of the ball, get the shot you want. There you go. Use it all for three, a little bit short. Kimberly comes away with it. Didn't need the it. The dump down pass was open to uh, Madison Wolf. They didn't uh, throw it down in there. Wirtz has it on top. Good work by uh, the papermakers. McMurrow, McMurrow oh. no good, and she gets a rebound and can't get that. And North comes away with it. 
Gussie brought it down, and then picking up the foul is no. uh, McMurrow. They're going to call a jump ball. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, you're right. I saw him go like this, Marty, like a held ball. I'm sorry. Yeah, I saw that too. I apologize. Now we need some free throws from uh, Gussie. She's got 11 rebounds, Marty. He's been a demon in there. It's the one and one. North is uh, four for six. That makes it a two-point ball game. This is the one I want, Marty, because anything can happen in a one-possession game, but a three-point lead is too big. Rattles in. Oh, boy. <laughs> Got the shooter's bounce there, Chris. 33-32, Kimberly up one. Two minutes and ten seconds left in the game. It's been a dandy. One problem for North is they only have four fouls. Make it and five. And picking up the foul there is going to be Mackenzie Wolf. But you don't have to worry about fouls. You just need a stop. Back back. They're not going to run the clock out for two minutes. Three fouls. McMurrow has it on top, gets it inside to Hedo, and she kicks it right back out. Want to keep uh, Wirtz from getting the drive penetration. She created a nice shot opportunity for Chevalier to end the uh, first half. Smarzinski out to Chevalier with a three attempt is no good. Kimberly comes away with the rebound. And picking up the foul is Madison Wolf, and that's going to be her fourth, Chris. It's all right, you got to play it out now. Sad part was you didn't get the rebound, Marty. Yeah, they got, uh, they got Chevalier taking a shot, which is probably what you want. She felt confident with it. Wirtz misses the first. Kimberly is uh, one for four on free throws tonight, Chris. They get two for five. 34-32. Good screen set by Usedal to free up Gussie to get it over half court. Gentine has it in the corner. Want to get Madison Wolf underneath the basket. She's been sitting on the ring. And uh, Usadel fell down. And uh, North gets a timeout. They'll keep the possession with 105 left. It's a full timeout. We'll take a short break and be right back. You show your smile to the world every day but nearly four out of five Americans say they would smile a lot more if their teeth looked better. The good news is healthy teeth can be safely and affordably corrected at any age. Advances in orthodontics have made the treatment more successful and comfortable than ever. Only orthodontists receive two to three years of education beyond dental school to learn the proper way to align and straighten teeth. To learn more, visit mylifemysmile.org. Back at uh, Preble High School, there you see Eric Spielman talking to the troops. They trail by two, 105 left. Chris, what do you got in your bag of tricks if you were coaching? Biggest possession of the year, Marty. Absolutely the biggest trip on offense of the year. And it's such a close game like this. I still think banging it inside is where I would go. That or if you can get Usadol out there for a three, I don't know. You haven't hit one all night. But I go with my strengths. My strength is Madison and McKenzie inside. I'm just afraid just you don't want to, you know, a turnover or anything. North you got, down, uh, go ahead, Chris. I was going to say, North only has one timeout left, Marty, one. Madison Wolf being double teamed underneath the basket. McMurrow still guarding all. She's done a whale of a job on uh, CJ. There it is. Dumped down inside and uh, picking up the foul with Steph Heddle, and that's her fifth. That's her fifth. You can bring your guys over here if you're uh, north. Oh, 
Going to the line for the Raiders will be uh, Madison Wolf shooting a pair. Joe Chris, Wolf. they're going to have to go to his, they can't sit in the zone anymore if they're down, you know, and point. No, well, you just got to hustle or foul here. Depends on the situation. I was going to say Joe Wolf came up today to watch her nieces play, which was his nieces to play, which was real nice. Sarah Rose now comes back in. She's uh, also has four fouls, Chris. One and one. Point five. Make your free throws. North has no fouls to give now, Marty. They have six. We're oh. all tied up. <laughs> Minute left, Marty. 50 seconds left. 34 all. McMurrow has it in the corner, tries to get it out, does. What I'm afraid of here is Kimberly should call timeout. And uh, with about 20 seconds left, and my big fear is Wirtz on dribble drive to a dump. Smarzinski has it on top. Here comes the timeout. Gets it over to Rose now. Use it all, goes down hard, she pops back up, there's 20 seconds left. Kimberly is not calling timeout, Marty. Don't reach, North girls. extending the defense, rolling down to 10 seconds, and no timeout, they're gonna play it out. Dump down inside, McMurrow kicks it out. Words with three seconds, no! Chevalier, no! And that's the game, we're all tied up, going to overtime. I like the idea, Chris, of letting them play it out instead of taking a chance on having to toss it back in. Well, the, the reason I don't mind there if uh, they would have called a timeout is because they don't turn the ball over. It's, it's harder, I think, for North to get inbounds there, but whoo, whoo, I didn't like that. That was crazy. <laughs> Very much so. What was it at the uh, end of the third quarter, Chris? I had uh, 28 for North and 33 for them. Yes. Because, no, 28-23, uh, I believe. Because with a minute left, you had the lead, 24-23, and they, they got a couple buckets at the end. I think you you might be thinking the end of the half. Nope, they got a bucket at the end of the second and at the end of the third. With about six seconds left or five seconds left, they got a shot from the corner over there. Well, 24, yeah, you're right. If you are 28-24. Well, you know North should win the tap, Marty. So. You would hope so, yeah. I'll tell you, North, the only player that I re remember coming in the ball game for the Raiders was Macy Conter for a brief time in the first half. Otherwise, Opie, Opie came in several times, you're right. Uh, so they have played seven. And uh, it, uh, you're right about uh, missing Jalen Walter, you know, who was sick. You mentioned that before the game. Well, what she provides is a three-point presence and speed at the top. You know, she's not a big, big score for her. She's their fourth leading score with six points a game, but she's more of someone who would be someone that can maybe relieve a little pressure with guard play, which they obviously need tonight, and using her quickness. But uh, let's hope North wins the tap here, for crying out loud. As we start the overtime, Chris, Madison Wolf has four, Mackenzie Wolf three. Uh, nobody else has more than two. For uh, Kimberly, Steph Hedo has fouled out. Rose now, who's played a lot tonight, played a very nice game, by the way, has four fouls. And uh, other than that, nobody else has more than two. Madison now has four, correct? Yep, I mentioned that at the top. Okay. I'm telling you, man, you got to listen to me. Every once in a while, I have something I was, important to say. I was listening to the official <laughs> and Eric talk. 
They both were smiling and enjoying this. Madison get Wolf with there. a five footer in the lead, couldn't get it. Had a great look, just wouldn't drop for her. Wirtz with the rebound. McMurrow has it on the wing. Both teams in bonus. Kimberly has eight falls, North has six. Boy, that was a great look there by uh, Madison Wolf. Wirtz gets the baseline and uh, looked like a good block, but I think that uh, McKenzie did get the arm. But that'll be her fourth. Wirtz Aaron. had trouble at the line the last time. Rims in and out, tough break for Wirtz, but uh, Kimberly does have the lead, 35-34. Boy, and Madison had a great look down here, so he didn't mind the last offensive possession here. Gussie gets it over, gets it into uh, McKenzie. Attack. Madison Wolf right to the basket and scores with the left hand. I love the attack. Catch and attack. 36-35, North on top. Wirtz. Drive down the lane is no good. Coming away with the rebound was Mackenzie Wolf. North on the push, but now they pull it back out. Two thirty. Use it all, sitting underneath the basket, trying to post up uh, McMurrow. She gets it, gets away. Shot is off the glass, no good. Over the back, not called on Madison Wolf. North keeps it. How about one? from three, no good. McMurrow on a box out, kept using it all from getting the rebound. North still on top. Smarzinski with a pull up 10 footer, no good. Gentine taps it out of bounds. Having fun, Marty? I think I'm doing too much play by play. <laughs> I think you're doing great. 30 second timeout. North is winded. <laughs> Are you winded, Chris? I am. Well, the lead is good. <laughs> lead is good, North up by one. Each team with uh, two timeouts remaining. North a little closer to the double bonus. Uh, Kimberly has eight fouls, North only has seven. I don't see that as being uh, a big factor right now, not with uh, 202 left. Well, you had the ball in the lead, Marty. It would have been nice to extend it there. You had a chance on yep. a rebound, didn't get it. We're sitting there with those what ifs. Yep. Chevalier has one hit off the crotch of the basket and drop in. Gussie has a good look and it just won't drop. Yep. Use it all had one earlier in the game. Halfway down, it popped out. Smarzinski is going to throw it in for the paper makers. We got. The starting lineup for North out on the floor, but both Wolves are sitting with four fouls. Inside to Wirtz, her turnaround no good. Knocked away, Gussie with the loose ball. Gotta be strong with the ball. Be strong with the ball. Gentine. Confidence, strong with the ball. Getting pushed on, gotta get that hand off the waist. She gets it over to use it all. that's a good matchup. She's being guarded by McMurrow. Minute 40. North with the lead and the ball. Madison. Strong. Madison Strong. traveled, no call. Boy, a basket here by North would I'll just tell you, be Mc huge. McMurrow is just playing tough defense underneath on use it all. Eric watching. 115 in the ball game. Oh, there's a lot of contact. Gentine has it, she gets tapped in the face, no call. McMurrow guarding Usedal. Five second count being counted off by the official. Gentine thought about it. You don't think about it. <laughs> don't even think about it. Usedal has it, we're under a minute, 50 seconds left. North by one, McMurrow, double team coming up. Timeout, great timeout by Eric Spielman. It would have been a jump ball. 
Wirtz turned her back on the defense. You don't want to yep. do that. Yep, she was in the wrong spot there. Crazy. It's Ooh, just wow. nuts. Well, given the situation, I'd rather have uh, use it all, get the inbounds pass in case they do the foul business right away. Now, I don't know if any of your timeouts carry over, Marty. Uh, or you just get one each or two each, or I am uncertain with the rules for... Uh, I think they... I'm not sure. Good question, though. Doesn't matter. They've each used one. Yeah. But then they do carry over. Yeah. Then one... Uh, some did carry over. The gym is packed. We mentioned the uh, atmosphere is electric. It's been a great game by two great teams. Nobody's had more than a five-point lead. I take that back. Kimberly had a seven-point lead, I believe. There you and see. still they haven't gotten a 40, Marty. <laughs> And this isn't even for state. This is a sectional semi. I know. This, semi. Should, this should be the game down in Madison. For the state title. Use it all is going to the back court to get it. Be strong. Be strong. Don't be afraid to dribble. One dribble doesn't do it, though. Got to get up there and get the ball. There you go. Oh. Oh, they didn't want to call it. Chevalier on a good foul. Putting uh, Mackenzie Wolf on the line. another bonus Marty yep and I think Kimberly. they knew who they wanted to follow they were waiting for uh, her to get the ball and Kimberly calls a full timeout with 36.4 seconds left it's a full timeout Kerry let's uh, take a short break we need to catch our breath here at the table bye Jen I'm here okay why are you wearing that because we are going golfing. I would, except I got a lot of stuff I gotta get oh, done. Oh, no, no more to-do lists, no more laundry. We are gonna go have fun. I mean, we've always wanted to learn how to play golf, yeah. right? So, it's playtime. Come on. Okay, well, what am I gonna wear? You can learn how to play golf with five lessons from a PGA or LPGA instructor starting at only $99. Go to getgolfready.com, get ready to play. Back at Preble High School, there you see the North High student section. They brought a great contingent down. They uh, had a couple of team or uh, pep buses come down. Kimberly didn't have too far to drive over, and uh, they brought a great crowd along. Big, big school, Kimberly. It's a real big school and very successful athletic school. I'll tell you what, Marty. Can basically uh, really secure with a couple free throws. It's very difficult to make free throws in this situation. Mackenzie Wolf, first trip to the line tonight. Kimberly has it. 30 seconds left. Don't let her dribble, drive, and dump. Don't let her dribble, drive, and dump. Don't let Works beat you. Get it! Use it all. <sighs> Oh, boy. How many timeouts to get in the half? Wow. So close, yet so far. 22.4 seconds left. It's a full timeout, but we'll keep it here now, Kerry. Well, Chris, what do you do if you're Kimberly? You're down by one with 22 seconds left. Well, first of all, I'm going to do north. I liked what they were doing there, pushing Wirtz out on a double team because I'm afraid of her dribble drive and dump to somebody. And uh, Mackenzie and Madison got to sit back and watch for the short shot. I'd rather get beat by a 17-footer than a four-footer with my height. But if I'm Kimberly, I'm trying to dribble drive with works. Boy, I'll tell you, CJ had that. Oh my gosh, you, you said it right away. A game of a tenth of a second or a half a second, and that's a steal. Our ball, we're shooting free throws, and then there's maybe 20 seconds left. All you need is a stop and a rebound. And I'd rather no one I'd rather have is in McKenzie and Madison. Underneath the basket right now in the state of Wisconsin. North coming out. Starters have played most of the game. 
They're out there right now. Madison and Mackenzie Wolf both sitting with four fouls. Rose now will uh, toss it in. She's had a nice game for the Papermakers. Smarzinski Got takes the where's inbound three? pass. Where's three? Where's three? Chevalier directing traffic, doesn't know who to throw it to. There's 15, gets away with a carry. I wouldn't say it was a carry. Her hand was on top of the ball. That's okay. There it is! Use it all with a steal. Oh. Couldn't get it back. Almost an over and back. McMurrow gets it inside to Smarzinski. She traveled. They're going to call a foul with 3.6 seconds left. Lindsay. Marzinski, nothing but the bottom of the net. We're all tied up. North needs a box out on the rebound. Puts them both in. 37-36. Boy, it's game be a of inches. Time out. Game of inches, Marty. Twice, twice they had a chance at a steal. Twice. It was in the grasp with eight seconds left. You know, when that ball was tipped away and the uh, Kimberly girl grabbed it at half court, I thought her foot slipped over the half court line after possession. I can't fault the official simply because it's that dotted line or you know that uh, invisible line sort of where the uh, logo is on the middle of the court but uh, you know that could have been a turnover too well I think you got to get it up to use it all somewhere around mid court so you can get a somehow somehow a decent shot very unfortunate Marty. Yeah, Mackenzie Wolf definitely has the arm to get it down Interesting setup for the Raiders. Three right above the uh, circle. And Kimberly dropping uh, three players back into the backcourt. Only two people up applying pressure. Gussie gets to Madison Wolf from half court. No good. Kimberly moves on to the sectional finals on Saturday night at Sheboygan South. Well, you can't say they didn't play their hearts out and had a chance, and looking back, you can't blame it on this or that. It was just a well-fought battle. Congratulations goes out to the Kimberly Papermakers and their coach, Troy Cullen. North will finish their year 24-1. A lot of conference laurels, one of them being uh, Eric Spielman being named uh, Coach of the year in the Valley, and uh, he had a great season, a great group of kids. Chris? Great game. An absolute terrific game. A big disappointment, but an absolutely positively great game. And uh, like I said, you can't look at anything. You had your chances, and a spectacular and great game. All right, with this game, WSCS wraps up its 2013-2014 uh, uh, basketball season. Uh, we have enjoyed immensely bringing you these games. Uh, hopefully we'll have something going on in the fall. Maybe some baseball games. Uh, we'll definitely be looking at uh, in the spring, pardon me, in the fall we'll be looking at doing the football season. For the crew, Kerry Coates, our director, Richard Bartson and Eric Wiesman on camera. For my partner Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you down the road. Thank you.